In this video, you're gonna come along with me as I get my VO2 max tested. Oh man, yeah, that was not fun. Let's go, come on, stay with it, stay with it. We're gonna talk about what VO2 max is, why it's so important for both your performance and your longevity, and I'm gonna give you one workout that's scientifically proven to increase your VO2 max by up to 13%. So I got the report here, gonna look at the results. So my VO2 max came in. Before we go and actually do the test, I want to talk a little bit about what VO2 max actually is and why you should care about it. VO2 max in simple terms is all about the amount of oxygen that your body can actually utilize while going through intense exercise. Reading directly from the definition here, VO2 max, also known as maximal oxygen uptake, is the measurement of the maximum amount of oxygen a person can utilize during intense exercise. It's a common measurement used to establish the aerobic endurance of a client prior to or during the course of training. It's one of several tests used to determine an athlete's cardiovascular fitness and performance capacity. VO2 max has become a rather trendy topic and a metric that a lot of people are looking at, in part because it has recently been linked in several studies to lower all-cause mortality. Meaning the higher your VO2 max is, the more efficient your body is at actually utilizing oxygen and taking in oxygen, the lower your risk of dying from all causes, all else equal. So obviously, if it's linked to performance and it's linked to living longer, people have started to take notice. Everyone from Andrew Huberman to Peter Atia have talked about the importance of building your VO2 max and of testing it, of finding out where you stack up so that you can actually improve it over time. So we're gonna go take the test. It's supposed to be pretty brutal. You're gonna see me go through the entire experience. I'm gonna have my video team with me so that you can actually watch it and see what it's like. And then I'm gonna come back here and take the report and we'll walk through my results, what I learned, and I'll leave you with that one workout that I promised that's going to be scientifically proven to improve your VO2 max by up to 13%. Awesome. All right, so first things first, uh, you're gonna come over here. Cool. We're gonna get your body composition. All right, second part, are you ready for this? What's this? We're, we're gonna strap you up. We're gonna get to do a parameter check. I need to know what your base pace is okay. and what your max pace okay. is. So the way we find your base is the pace at which your heart rate gets to between 100 and 110 beats. Okay. And the max is going to be what you can sustain almost for two minutes. Okay. So again, we're looking for two numbers. One's gonna be your base pace, mm -hmm. right? And then the second's gonna be, I'm gonna keep going up. I'm gonna ask you, do you think you can hold this pace for two minutes? So, okay. good. so we're just gonna start you at a nice little walk, see where your heart rate gets to. 92 beats, looking good. That's a good start. Perfect. All right. So now we're gonna look for your top end, all right? Good. So I'm gonna start around six and I'm gonna go up by half a mile mm -hmm. as long as you give me the okay. okay. All right, we'll go up to seven. Yeah. We'll go up to eight. Yep. All right, we'll take it to nine. Good. We'll go nine, five. We'll take it to 10. Good. We'll take it to 10, five. We're close. We're gonna go 11, five. 12? Yeah. All right. Pretty close. 12, five. That's 448. Yeah. Right there. Good. Good. Great job. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to test my VO2 max on the Peloton tread over there. Basically, the test is going to go like this. I'm going to start at an easy pace, right around four miles an hour for three minutes. And then every minute, we're going to increase the pace that I'm moving at until I can't go anymore. What we're gonna be measuring is through the oxygen mask, how much oxygen I'm actually consuming as I continue to exercise at a higher and higher intensity level over time. That's gonna give us the output of my VO2 max. 
We'll talk about where it sits on a scale and how I stack up against other people once we get the results. Let's dive into it. Okay, good. The right arm's gonna go through. You're gonna hold this sensor with your right hand. Left. Good. Okay, yeah? yeah. Safety straps. It's also gonna feel like it's restricting your airflow. It's not, it's just you're not used to running with shit on your face. Again, first three minutes, nice, easy, 4.0. All right, ready? Three, two. One minute down, two more minutes to go. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna start every minute now. Three, two, one. Six. Three, two, one. Seven point oh. Three, two, one. Eight point oh. Three, two, one. Nine oh. This is RER, that's his respiratory exchange ratio. That basically tells me the ratio of oxygen, the carbon dioxide that he's utilizing. Right now, he's still burning fat, even at a 9.0, which is fantastic. He's super comfortable right here. Three, two, one, 10.0. Three, two, one, 11.0. Atta boy, yes. Let's go, three, two, 12.0, right here. Let's go. Atta boy. Nice. Dig, 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 dig. Three, two, one. 12, five right here. Yes. Come on. Dig, 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 dig. We're almost done. We're so close. Let's go. Come on. Stay with it. Stay with it. Come on. 20 seconds. You want to go to 13? All right. Let's go. Last half. 15 seconds. Let's go. Come on. Nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, done. Beautiful. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> hey. All right. You don't have to stay on a treadmill. You can get off and walk. Okay. Two and a half minutes of recovery. Focus on your recovery, focus on your breathing. Expand your abdomen, let your diaphragm fall. Give that heart some room to breathe, man. Nice and slow. Good job. Oh, that was great. It's only hard because you're so good, man. <laughs> good job. Welcome back, hope you enjoyed your flight. Yeah. Saw <laughs> God. It, it only gets yeah. spicy towards the end. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was planning to tap once I got through the 12, and then you were like, 12, five. you're almost done. You're almost 12, done. Five, and I was like, fuck. Uh, so that's the yeah. cool thing, right? When you talk about metabolic analysis, I'm basically measuring yeah. your output. Yeah. And I know as an athlete, yeah. you can get to 1.0. 1.0 yeah. is complete carbohydrate dominance, meaning yeah. you're basically about to tap out. Yeah. You were hovering at 12.5 at like 0.94. Yeah. And I'm like, we could squeeze a little bit more out of you because you know how to go dark. Yeah. If you were untrained, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. I'd just say, yeah, get off. Last, like, <laughs> last like 20 seconds, that was when I hit like, how it feels at the end of a 5k or at the end of a mile or at the end of a mile. Like, <laughs> that pure pain. Yeah. So yeah. It's like yeah, true it's dark a, place. Exactly. Oh man. That was tough. <laughs> now for the faint of hearts. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Dude, that was hard. So the format of the test, which I talked through just at the beginning, just to recap it, it was I started at four miles an hour on a two percent incline, and that was for three minutes. And then every minute it would increase by one mile per hour. So after the first three minutes, it went to five miles an hour for a minute, then to six miles an hour for a minute, then to seven, then for a minute, and so on. So basically, the first four, three minutes you're chilling, the fourth minute you're chilling. It, once it got up to like eight miles an hour, you kind of start to feel your heart rate going, you're breathing a little bit. My whole mindset going into it was like, all right, it's only eight minutes of time for me to get from five miles an hour to uh, 12 miles an hour, which is what I thought I was gonna try to like really rip at that was going to be like full out 12 miles an hour is a five minute per mile pace that's moving pretty quick like you're you're really clipping that's like a 
what, like a three minute per kilometer pace, I think. I don't like to do public math, but something around that. So I kind of figured in my mind, I was like, all right, all I gotta do is last eight minutes here. And like every minute that I get through, I'm just one minute closer to the end of that eight minutes. But like the last three minutes of the thing, when you're at 10 miles an hour for a minute and then he increases it to 11, it doesn't like get linearly harder. It gets exponentially harder all of a sudden. So the 10 miles an hour was kind of difficult because you've been working for a little bit, but I knew I could do that. The 11 miles an hour, kind of difficult. I knew I could do it. The 12 miles an hour, I was like full sellout mode. Like, all right, I'm just gonna rip for this minute and then it's gonna be done. I was gonna like, that's what I'm gonna make it through and then anything else is gravy. We get past the 12 and he's like, all right, we're going to 12 and a half. You gotta last a minute here. Then in my mind, I was like, oh, I miscalculated. Like I had to get through 12 and a half in order to finish the test and feel like I hit my number. So I had a whole other minute at 12 and a half after doing the 12 and the last like, 45 seconds of that at 12 and a half was just straight up tunnel vision just dark like leg pain i mean it felt the same as like finishing a hard 5k or a hard mile test or like the end of the marathon just like dark pain and the last 10 seconds of it he asked if i wanted to go up to 13 and i kind of like tried to just shake my hand because i couldn't speak and i was like breathing at you know 60 plus uh breaths per minute so just like heaving 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 and if he had taken it to 13 i think i was just going to drift off and like fall off the treadmill at that point so we tapped out at 12 and a half miles an hour uh and that was good enough for me the so, hardest part of that test by far was the mask on your face and the strap attached to your back. You almost feel a little claustrophobic wearing it. I don't know if any of you guys have claustrophobia, but I get a little like in cramped tight spaces. I don't feel great. So they tell you at the beginning of the test that the, the face mask doesn't actually constrict your breathing. It's just, you feel like it does, but that's definitely uh, the most uncomfortable part of the test until you get to the point where it's just like grueling from a workout perspective. Okay, so I just got the report readout from XFIT Lab, which is the location in White Plains where I did this VO2 max test. Really happy with the results. So my VO2 max came in at 61.2 when all the final metrics and readings were inputted into the system and into the data. That is noted as superior for my age and for my gender. We'll put up on the screen here a chart that actually shows based on different age ranges and based on your gender, what would be considered everything from very poor all the way up to superior for your VO2 max. So for my age range, I'm 33. So for the 30 to 39 age range, anything over 40 is considered superior on this chart. My guess is that's like a pretty conservative estimate of what superior is. I think if I've looked at other charts, maybe we can show a couple other ones on the screen here. Um, I've seen basically like 55 and above is considered elite in my age range. So I was really shooting to try to get 55 and above. Really happy with this 61.2 result. Um, you know, obviously I train a lot. I ran the marathon last year. I do the hybrid training. So I'm training a lot of different systems. I'm doing the aerobic baseline training, which is my slower zone two, as they say, cardio level at the lower heart rates. I'm also running the track days and really pushing myself at the higher ends. So I'm pleased to see that the results are actually bearing that out. So now that we've done the VO2 max test, I wanna give all of you one scientifically proven way to improve your VO2 max. Now we know, we've talked about this, VO2 max is super important for your overall performance as well as your longevity. Well, this workout method is called the Norwegian method, and it has been studied and shown to increase your VO2 max by up to 13%. Here's how it works. You're gonna start the workout with about 10 to 20 minutes of just easy warm up. Now you can do this running on a track or out on the roads, or you can do it on a bike or on a rower, whatever your favorite form of cardio is. You could even do it swimming. 10 to 20 minutes of warm up. So if you're jogging, maybe that's about one to two miles. After that, you're gonna do four rounds of four minutes on, three minutes off. Now the four minutes on are going to be at a hard pace. That's about 85% to 95% of your max heart rate. For most runners, that's gonna be somewhere around their 5K to 10K pace. 
Then the three minutes is going to be a light rest where you're gonna try to get your heart rate back down to more like 65% of your max. Basically get your heart rate back down to a baseline resting-ish level before going back and ramping back up for the next round at that 85 to 95% level. You're gonna do four rounds of that. So it's four rounds of four minutes on, three minutes off. And then at the end, you're gonna end with a 10 to 20 minute jog. Now this workout is called the Norwegian Method. It was created by a whole bunch of Norwegian endurance athletes and performance scientists. And again, it has been proven in studies to increase your VO2 max by up to 13%. Go try this workout. It's not for the faint of heart, but it will have a positive impact on your VO2 max, which is going to improve your performance and your longevity. got for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Your VO2 max is highly important for your performance and your longevity. Take the Norwegian method exercise routine I gave and use it to build your VO2 max over the next 6 to 12 months. You won't regret it. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love some of my other ones, which you can find on the screen here, going through my day in the life, my routines, and much, much more. That's all for today. Until next time, stay curious.